My name is Matt Johnson. I'm with Infiltrator Water Technologies. This is our 1250 tank made out of polypropylene. It's injection molded. This tank weighs probably in that 400 pound, maybe 450 pound area. So this thing is lightweight, can fit in the back of a pickup truck, can fit on a trailer. The advantage of using a tank like this is that it can be placed with much smaller equipment. It's not subject to the hydrogen sulfide corrosion that concrete is subject to, right? So hydrogen sulfide gas can build up in this and it will rise up into the airspace and that plastic is not gonna be corroded by it. We have anti-buoyancy procedure. If you're worried about putting it into a water table, that's what everybody's biggest concern is with a plastic tank is they're worried about it coming out of the ground. And it really just happens, you have to understand that you need to overcome the 8,000 pounds of force in a thousand gallon tank to keep it in the ground. The soil weighs a lot. And then we talk about using dead man and it's not the weight of the dead man that keep it in the ground. It's actually the soil column on top of the dead man that you choose. So the wider the dead man that you use, the wider the soil column that goes on top of it, the more weight that's helping to keep it in the ground. It's made out of polypropylene. It's going to last forever. The lid's not gonna corrode and fall in on you. So this tank could literally last forever. It's completely watertight. The tank can handle a little bit of flexibility in the ground and it'll still remain as a watertight vessel. We have a 300 gallon pump tank, 500 gallon pump tank, 1000 gallon septic, 1250 septic, and a 1500 gallon septic. The 1000, the 1250, and the 1500 can also be a single compartment tank, or they can also have the ability to be a two compartment tank for those that have a two compartment tank needs in their jurisdictions.